Here they come, ladies and gentlemen. Put your hands together for the team from Targo Mores. Hai băieți, hai băieți, hai băieți. Avem un accident rutier, avem două mașini implicate, nu sunt scurgeri, verificați dacă este victimă. Avem o victimă în mașina de jos. Nu sunt scurgeri. Starting with their 360 reconnaissance. Assessing okay, all the hazards, aici, looking da. where the casualties are, rapidă, aici, da. making the first initial plans for stabilization. They are quick to action, stabilizing the vehicle is the next step. Now the real challenge is obviously this car that's on its roof up on the other car, getting that stable, They're trying to make it one solid block, making sure that that car cannot shift away. Uh, looking at this scenario, we've got uh, obviously the black car on its wheels. On the other side, the side that's not seeable for our audience, there's uh, three orange blocks that are, uh, that are disabling the team to get in from the left side of the car. So they'll try to enter from the, the other side. The first thing they have to do is make sure that the other car, who is unstable on top of the, uh, the car on its wheels, is stable, so it doesn't move anywhere, which is obviously dangerous for the rescuers themselves. I see a few people walking around in uh, the red, the green and the blue uh, jacket. They are our assessors, they look after the teams. They are from the UKRO, they are here to help us out with these challenges. They've written the scenarios and now assessing the teams, making sure they get valuable feedback after the run. Hai că merge, hai că merge. Bun. Și încerci să-ți bagi mâna să deschizi ăsta. Protejezi aici, protejează și-ți bagi mâna să deschizi ușa. Sebi, bagă mâna și deschide ușa. Deblocheze ăla. Hai, rapid. Ajungi? Ba, bine, bun. How is okay. it going? Uh, quite a difficult scenario. Um, mainly stability is going to be the issue here. Uh, we've got early access. Um, we'll see what his plan is going to be and now, and depending on the casualties' injuries, which direction they're going to bring him out. Um, looks like he's got his, uh, his emergency plan in place, or a partial emergency plan. Um, he should be looking at uh, a full inline investigation for the casualty from the rear of the vehicle. All right, thank you. So what you can see, they've opened up the back door. That will allow them swift access to the casualty. Obviously, they want to know exactly what is going on, what are the injuries, what do we need to take care of, and how do we get this person out. You can also see that they're retching the car that is flipped over. It's on the car on its wheels. They're retching them together, making sure that it doesn't move anywhere. They're also breaking glass. They're taking the glass out so it doesn't pop out of the door when they start spreading or cutting them. Obviously, removing the glass is, is vital for the safety of the rescuers and the casualty. Steve, how is the initial phase going? This is this is looking good. Yeah. Um, some difficulty in the stabilisation of this vehicle. Uh, a lot of work to do there. But um, so far they've done a, a really good job. Access has been gained now by the technical crew there by smashing a, a rear quarter glass because all the doors was locked down on this one. Which is that's the case in modern vehicles. Keyless ignitions, electric vehicles, things like that. They do lock they do lock down on the so it's a challenge to the firefighters now. Yeah, okay, thank you. So for those wondering why you're destroying brand new BMWs, why didn't you just uh, sell them off to lucky owners? Um, these cars were never meant to be on the road, so they've been used by BMW for tests or R&D purposes. 
Um, so they were always meant to be scrapped and BMW, our partner for this challenge, has provided them for us so that we can host this challenge and for the teams to, uh, to learn how it is to work on these modern cars, as obviously we don't have access to these brand new cars every day. Let's have a word with our pit manager again. Ben, join me. That's uh, an Im impressive setup you've created again. Yeah, thank you, thank you. We are called the uh, masters of disasters. You definitely are. Yeah, yeah. This is a very uh, challenging scenario of a very difficult stabilization, as you already uh, mentioned. Uh, I think they are going now for a uh, removal from the site. Uh, let's see what they are going to do. I'm curious. Yeah, we are all curious what they're going to do. They seem to have the uh, stability clearly done. We can see a few V struts in place. We can see a few ratchets straps, blocks, chocks, everything is being used to keep that car that is uh, floating here down. It doesn't shift or move. Tools are being prepared now. Looks like they're going for the doors. Breathing? Yeah, it's okay. Yeah. Okay, hi. Rapid, hi, gata. Okay? Pro scooter protected. Yeah. Okay. 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 See if we can get an update from the medical perspective. Um. Very good entry, I think. Um, they're doing quite well by the looks of it. Um, and if they carry on, well, um, they should, should do okay, depending on what they come across. Okay, that's good news. So as you can all see, they've made their uh, their access, so they're close to the casualty now, so they can assess exactly what the injuries are. That is obviously important to know. That rear door, door is now off, so they've got even more space to work around the vehicle. They're now discussing what the next move will be. That front door is going off as well. Here we have a Good close-up view from what's happening inside the vehicle. They're working on the casualty, making sure that these injuries are taken care of. What is the next move going to be, Steve? <laughs> I think um, the next move from here, without giving too much away there, is that we're going to remove the feet post now and do some work on that rear seat. If that works for us, it should be good. Okay. Okay. Everything is okay. Everything is okay. Pain at teeth? No, no, no. Of the legs? Yes, we are joined here by Marta from uh, Paso Maldonado, our dealer. Um, maybe you can just uh, introduce yourself shortly. And what do you do for Homatro in your country? 
Hello, I'm Martha from Mostar, uh, Pastor Mostar. We are dealers for Hormat, Holmatro in uh, Bosnia and Herzegovina. It is my first time being here on the internship, and it is a very great event, and Holmatro crew is doing a great job. Also, the firefighters from Romania are doing a professional job with... Uh, so it's very nice to see the... Uh, road tools in person in action because I'm always in office and selling the, the, the tools and it's very nice to see it in person. It definitely is. Have you taken a look at the new mini cutter? Yes, sure. On the inside stand. Okay, let's see if they're putting that to use as well. Thank you. There's a lot of work being done around the car now, you see a lot of activity. They have uh, removed all of the plastics and the rubbers. That is important so they can put the uh, cutter in place. We, uh, we want to see what's inside this car, so any hidden airbags, seatbelt, retention or stuff like that. That's obviously hazards that we want to avoid. So that's why they quickly strip the car from rubbers and plastics, so you have a good look inside and then they position the cutter and try to get it, uh, the B-pillar out. That's their next move. Now a car like this, which is uh, brand new, it's from 2022, is obviously uh, a lot stronger than the older cars are. Um, so it's, uh, it's a bit of a challenge to get that B-pillar out. You, you might hear a few loud bangs when it gives away. That is normal because of all of the layers of steel. So the cutter compresses them and then when it actually makes the cut, you hear a bang. Instead of the, uh, the older cars that tend to tear instead of uh, uh, break. That B, B pillar is not making it easy for them, Steve, is it? So, this is a very tough vehicle. Um, maybe going into the sill, avoiding that free tension. They, they've got a mission on, but uh, they're through it, you know. Yeah, we can see the pretension being hit, so it's posing a bit of a challenge. You can see now the benefit of the 30 degree cut on that sort in this kind of scenario. That's where that works. Yeah, exactly. You can see that with the incline cutter, you, you can hold the tool outside of the, uh, the vehicle. It tends to turn in a little bit, but that's the 30 degrees or 40 degrees of all that. We are also joined here by our challenge manager, Ronald. I haven't spoken to you to a lot, but there's obviously a lot going on. It's a lot of organization work to pull a challenge like this off. Yeah, it's, it's absolutely a lot of work. Um, luckily, I'm not alone. Uh, we have a big crew, of course, um, organizing this challenge. Um, and by the looks of it, with the crew, with the teams, with the crowd, um, I think we can say we have, a, we have a great event here. So, very happy with that. Obviously, there's a few other companies who are helping us with this as well. One of them is, uh, is very clear, that BMW. We are very thankful for their partnership. Are there a few other companies that are helping us out with this challenge too? Yeah, um, well, PackX, of course, uh, making sure that they can manage the glass safely. Um, uh, if you look at the Assassin helmets, the Pacific helmets, uh, very thankful for having the safe helmets as well. Um, and let's not forget about the video crew, the guys from ABC Screen. Um, they do an amazing job making sure that we can broadcast this as well here, as well as online, uh, where everybody can see live what's happening here. Um, and, and of course, um, if you look at the great big trailer, our VIP deck, uh, the Movico truck, we're very happy to, to have this fully Homatro branded and, and make it a great event. Now I also see uh, a few of these guys looking at a tablet every now and then, trying to find out what the, uh, what's inside these vehicles, Ronald. It's called the crash recovery system. Yep, yep. Um, the guys from, uh, from, from Moditech supplied us with uh, an iPad for, this, uh, for the teams. Um, obviously, with all the new BMWs, you see a lot of safety systems. Uh, we try to avoid them when cutting, when spreading. Um, so using the tablets from Moditech with the crash recovery system helps the teams to determine where those safety parts are. Yeah. 
And apart from that, of course, you can see the medical teams running around with those uh, packs, medical bags, uh, well known, of course, in the, in the, in the playing field of safety and um, uh, first aid kits, bags, um, everything else. Um, and the PAX company was, was uh, very helpful to supply us with a, a PAX bag fully equipped with medical equipment for the teams. All right, so congratulations to you and the team for putting this together. We'll have a look inside the vehicle again. Getting a close-up view now. They obviously got that B pillar out, so they're getting close to the casualty. Quick update. Uh, yeah, they're progressing very, very quickly. Um, an efficient team. Uh, commander's very much in control of what's happening. He knows he's looking after the safety of the crew. And his, his plan's progressing in an effective way. Uh, good use of the tooling. Uh, showing how good a Maltra are uh, with the tooling on these type of cars. It's excellent. Really good. Thank you. Spinal board is being brought in. That means that they're close to getting that casualty out. They're going to immobilize him. Make sure that all of the vital parts are well taken care of. Taking care of his injuries and then slowly getting him out of the car. Seems to be getting to that phase. Uh, all the orange uh, blankets, I would call them, that you see, they are there to protect against sharp edges, both for the rescuers as for the casualty. So after all the cuts that they've made, they've put in these blankets to make sure that nobody gets hurt. <laughs> Yeah, that's good. I see a lot of talking going on, so they're trying to get everyone on one page, making sure that they take good care. The spinal board's now going in, so obviously they've lifted the casualty up a little bit, but uh, now they've put the spinal board in. The next thing we'll do is slowly pull that casualty on the spinal board. And, uh, then we'll get to the point where you guys should put your hands together, because once that casualty is coming out of the vehicle, obviously a big round of applause is in place. Here we are, slowly getting there, he's out, give him a round of applause, this is a good achievement, well done Team Targo Mores, that's great. Ooh. Now it's the next phase, they've got him out, it's, uh, it's time to look at these injuries, see what's really going on, making sure that they've not missed anything, uh, preparing them for a good debrief for the, the medic crew. <laughs> Here's the flag coming, that's, uh, that's done to prevent direct sunlight, which is obviously not, not good. But it's also a beautiful sight to see, obviously. We make to... in the time or after... You've still got time? So yes. You can carry on, do your yeah. medical handover? Unless you say I'm ready, yes, then yes. we're we'll finished. Okay, there's okay. Când ziceți voi că sunteți gata, atunci predăm victima, da? Mai avem un minut. Cum? Nu, nu e o problemă. Hai, 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 mișcare. How are they progressing? Yeah, really good. I mean, casualties out there um, in good time. Uh, they're doing their, their secondary surveys on the casualty now. They could give a hand over to the medic and they have still got 40 seconds. Ah, oh, that's beautiful. That's a wonderful achievement. Well done. Second survey is obviously checking if they've missed any of these injuries, making sure that the medical crew and maybe even later an ambulance crew knows exactly what's wrong so they can take good care of him. Meanwhile, the technical team is holding up their flag and making sure that there's no direct sunlight exposure. Okay. Where is the medic? Yes. Yeah. Yes, you are finished, yes. 
And there's the whistle, lady. Give him an applause. So, that seemed to be going smooth. Oh, yes, uh, was a difficulty here, but uh, my guys and I, uh, we handled it. You seem proud of the team. Oh, yes, but uh, we can better for the future. Even better, it already looked like it was going absolutely perfect. I don't say like that, but it was okay. The guys are the best. What was the biggest problem you had to take care of? Uh, here, in this scenario, uh, the chair. Because our uh, electrical chair and we need to cut the back seat. Okay. Technical team. Who is technical team? Who wants to step forward? Well done, guys. That looked really, really good. How were the Pentium tools? Thank you. The Pentium tools are a bit heavy, but they're also powerful, so they can do the job. You uh, got the B-pillar out. Was it uh, powerful enough? Uh, we worked only with the spreader and the cutter. We didn't use the ram. No, but you had to make the cut. Did it go well? Yes, it goes well. My call... They are very powerful. Okay, thank you. The medic? Who was the medic? So, you um, had access to the casualty fast. Yes, because uh, this is uh, very important to rapid access for the victim. And what were the injuries? Where was the pain? Uh, sorry? Where was the pain from the casualty? Uh, we had uh, uh, pelvis trauma and cervical uh, fracture. Okay, and could you take care of him inside the vehicle already? Yes. That's good. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, one more time, put your hands together for this wonderful team from Romania. Guys, thank you so much. You should be proud.